Tips and Tricks of Composite Restoration, Selection of Suitable Restorative Material A dental restoration or dental filling is a dental restorative material used to restore the function, integrity, and morphology of missing or damaged tooth structure. Requirements for an ideal restoration, 1. It should stop further progress of the present lesion such as caries, erosion, abrasion, attrition, or fracture. 2. It should restore normal function of the affected tooth which may be cutting, tearing or mastication of food. 3. It should restore any speech defects due to missing parts of the hard tooth structures. 4. It should restore normal aesthetic. 7-5. It should restore and maintain the integrity of the dental arch and its surrounding periodontium. 6. It should sustain the normal physiologic occlusal load without fracture and it should protect the remaining hard sound tooth structures from fracture. 7. It should protect and maintain pulp vitality. According to the previously enumerated requirements, still none of the available restorative material is ideal. For this reason, we have to compromise and select the most suitable material for a particular case. Factors influencing selection of the suitable restorative material, I factors concerning the available restorative materials. 2. Factors concerning the patient, I factors related to the general condition of the patient. 2. Factors related to the oral cavity. 3. Factors concerning the tooth to be restored. 4. Factors related to the cavity to be restored. 3. Factors related to the operator. I factors concerning the available restorative materials the operator should have full knowledge about all available restorative materials. This knowledge should include physical, chemical, and biological properties of each material. Furthermore, the operator should master the manipulative techniques of these materials. Assessment of mostly used permanent restorations properties, A. Biocompatibility. B. Physical properties. C. Aesthetic properties. D. Other material properties. A. Biocompatibility, Biocompatibility refers to how well the material coexists with the biological equilibrium of the tooth and body systems. Since fillings are in close contact with mucosa, tooth, and pulp, biocompatibility is very important. Metallic restoration can conduct thermal shocks to the pulp due to its high thermal conductivity which could lead to pulp irritation. Amalgam restorations conduct thermal and galvanic shocks to the pulp and its metallic ions may penetrate the dentinal tubules and gingival tissues. Permanent discoloration of both tooth and gingiva will be the expected failures after restoration of large cavity with amalgam. Due to the known toxicity of the element mercury, there is some controversy about the use of amalgam. Moreover, the volume trick contraction of polymeric resin and the relatively high coefficient of thermal expansion can create leakage space at the restoration tooth structure interface and stimulate bacterial irritation for the pulp. In addition to its monomer contents and the heat produced during polymerization that lead to chemical and thermal irritation to the pulp. On the other hand, Tooth preparation of resin composite restorations requires less tooth structure removal compared to preparation for other dental materials such as amalgam and many of the indirect restorations. As conservation of tooth structure is a key ingredient in tooth preservation, many dentists prefer placing materials like composite instead of amalgam fillings whenever possible. Glass ionomer restorations are the best regarding biologic compatibility. This can be attributed to their chemical bond with the adjacent tooth structures, to their high molecular size of its acid contents, fluoride release, minimal setting expansion and preservative tooth preparation. Castable ceramic restorations are biologically compatible due to their thermal insulation and their highly smooth glazed surfaces. Most of the previously mentioned irritational factors can be controlled by using suitable cavity liner and slash or base material. These materials can protect the pulp from both chemical and thermal irritation of the restorations. B. Physical Properties 1. Indestructible and slash or insoluble in the oral fluids. 2. Chemical adhesion with the surrounding hard tooth tissues. 3. Withstand the functional forces without fracture. 4. 
maintain its dimensional stability inside the cavity. 1. Indestructible and slash or insoluble in the oral fluids metallic, ceramic, and resinous restorative materials can resist solubility in oral fluids. However, glass ionomer restorations cannot resist solubility. Moreover, looting cements such as zinc phosphate or zinc polycarboxylate cements are relatively soluble in the oral fluids particularly in acidic media. 2. Chemical adhesion with the surrounding hard tooth tissues or at least, it should maintain intimate adaptation with the surrounding cavity walls at the restoration tooth structure interface. The importance of adhesion or adaptation is to provide marginal sealing to prevent micro leakage. Thus, post restorative hypersensitivity of dentin, recurrent caries, pulp affections, and discoloration of both restorations and tooth structures will be prevented. Gold foil provides satisfactory adaptation with the surrounding cavity walls. Adaptation of amalgam restorations increases by time due to the presence of the corrosion products. Resin composite restorations do not adhere or adapt to the cavity walls due to their polymerization shrinkage and their different coefficient of thermal expansions. Glass ionomer restoration bond chemically with the surrounding tooth structures. Cast restorations suffer from marginal deterioration due to the polymerization shrinkage of their looting cements. 3. Withstand the functional forces without fracture and it should protect the surrounding hard tooth structures from fracture. Ceramic and gold restorations fulfill this property. Amalgam restorations suffer from low tensile and shear strength, brittle, and creep. Glass ionomer restorations cannot resist wear. Resin composite restorations suffer from decrease to wear resistance compared to the amalgam, however, recent types had an increase in its wear resistance given the restorations an average finite lifespan 7 to 8 years. 4. Maintain its dimensional stability inside the cavity, the restoration should be free from any volume trick changes after its placement inside the cavity. If it expands, it may overhang producing premature contact, which may fracture due to stress concentration. On the other hand, contraction or shrinkage of the restoration inside its cavity may cause marginal leakage with subsequent troubles or it may lead to its looseness and displacement. Ceramic and gold restorations are stable inside their cavities. Amalgam restorations may contract inside their cavities during their hardening. And, then, they may expand due to either excess mercury or moisture contamination. Dental composite restorations shrink during their polymerization. Glass ionomer restorations has less dimensional changes compared to the other restorations and they do not create marginal leakage due to their chemical bond with the adjacent tooth tissues. C. Aesthetic properties, porcelain restorations can provide perfect aesthetic with that of the natural tooth. Resin composite restorations provide superior aesthetic. However, by time, some resin composites restorations suffer from surface, marginal, and bulk discolorations. The rate of discoloration is changeable from a person to the other according to the type of material, technique of application and patient habits i.e. drinks and smoking habits. Although glass ionomers are tooth-colored, they vary in translucency. Despite they can be used to achieve an aesthetic result, their aesthetic potential does not measure up to that provided by resin composite because their surfaces change to the chalky appearance as a result of their solubility in the oral fluids. Both gold and amalgam restorations have poor aesthetic due to their metallic colors. However, it is expected to find few patients enjoying this metallic appearance of their teeth. These persons are most probably technicians and butchers. D. Other material properties, 1. It should have reasonable cost. Amalgam is relatively cheaper than gold as a metallic restoration. Porcelain restoration is the most expensive tooth colored one. Composite restoration comes next to ceramic restoration regarding its price. Glass ionomer restoration needs costs similar or near to that of composite ones. 2. It should be convenient and easy in its manipulation. Amalgam restorations satisfy this property. Gold foil restorative procedures need skillful operator. Resin composite is a technique sensitive material, needs complete isolation, and skillful manipulation. 
In considering these properties of an ideal restorative material, it is apparent that no single material can fulfill all of the clinical needs. Factors influencing selection of the suitable restorative material, I factors concerning the available restorative materials. 2. Factors concerning the patient. 3. Factors related to the operator. 2. Factors concerning the patient, A factors related to the general condition of the patient. B factors related to the oral cavity. C factors concerning the tooth to be restored. D factors related to the cavity to be restored. A factors related to the general condition of the patient. 1. Patient's age. Young patient cannot stand long dental chair side work. They cannot follow post restorative instructions carefully. They prefer aesthetic restorations wherever indicated. Middle aged patient prefers ideal restorations. Old patient cannot withstand long operations on the dental chair. He prefers strong permanent restorations. 2. Patient's sex, male patients prefer strong permanent restorations. Female patients advocate aesthetic. 3. Patient's occupation, regular patients ask for restorations of reasonable price. They prefer ideal restoration if possible. Public personalities like aesthetic restorations. Those are, politicians, professors and teachers, spokesmen, television and movie stars, diplomats, and artists etc. Few technicians, butchers, fruit sellers, shoemakers, and mechanics advocate gold color in aesthetic areas. 4. Physical condition of the patient, patients with normal physical fitness can stay on the dental chair for the required time without creating any troubles. Debilitated patients cannot tolerate long work on the dental chair. They prefer cast restorations or short-term restorations. Handicapped patients prefer short-term restorations. 5. Educational and social conditions of the patient. Educated patient advocate the most suitable restoration according to their satisfaction. Less educated persons prefer aesthetic restoratives. Uneducated patients agree with the operator selection for the suitable restoration. 7. Patients' habits. Patients with smoking habits suffer from stains on rough surfaces in the oral cavity and from acidic saliva. Alcoholics always suffer from solubility of dental cements. Persons with bruxism need strong restorations with high surface hardness. 8. Economic condition of the patient. Wealthy persons select the best restoration whatever it costs. Ordinary people should be informed about the expenses before starting the restorative procedures. Poor patients prefer amalgam in posterior teeth and glass ionomers for aesthetic restorations. B factors related to the condition of the oral cavity, I oral hygiene, patients with good oral hygiene are ideal candidates for all types of permanent restorations. Patients with poor oral hygiene should improve and maintain their mouths clean before the restorative procedures. 2. Caries incidence, selection of suitable restorations for patients with high caries incidence should be done cautiously to prevent failure of the restorations due to recurrent caries. Teeth with rampant caries are better to be treated with glass ionomer restorations as intermediate restorations until the condition subsides. 3. Condition of occlusion, normal occlusion has no troubles in the selection of the suitable restorations. Conditions of malocclusion such as anterior or posterior crossbite, severe overlap, tilted teeth have to be treated before the selection of the suitable restorations. 4. Presence of metallic restoration, the present metallic restoration is leading for the selection of the future metallic restoratives. Presence of different metallic restorations may lead to galvanic shocks. See factors concerning the tooth to be restored, 1. Position of the tooth, anterior teeth are better to be restored with aesthetic tooth colored restorative materials. Teeth that appear during smiling should be restored with aesthetic materials. Teeth which may act as abutment for fixed bridge, can be restored with amalgam or resin composite or reinforced glass ionomer restorations. Wisdom teeth are difficult to be isolated by rubber dam application. It is advisable to restore them with zinc-free amalgam or cast gold restorations. 3. Form of the tooth, 
Hutchinsonian teeth or peg-shaped lateral incisors should be restored with full coverage aesthetic restorations. Mulberry molars should be corrected occlusally with cast gold restorations or even full metallic or ceramic crowns. Normal teeth should be restored with the suitable restorative material through their suggested designs. 5. Size and condition of the remaining coronal portion, in regular condition the remaining tooth structures of the crown can confine the restoration. If the remaining coronal portion cannot confine the restoration and are greatly destruct so that extra means of retention or indirect restorations are advisable. 6. Vitality of the pulp, it is advisable to preserve pulp vitality. In deep cavities, apply calcium hydroxide. Then suitable base material in deep areas to protect the pulp from thermal, chemical, or traumatic irritation of the restorative material or its technique. Teeth with hyperemic pulp should be restored with a suitable temporary restorative material until the irritational condition is relieved and then restored permanently with a suitable restoration. D factors related to the cavity to be restored, 1. Size of the cavity, relatively small cavities can be restored with amalgam, resin composite, glass ionomer restorative materials. Medium size cavities are better restored with amalgam, resin composite, or glass ionomer restorations. Large cavities should be restored with amalgam or indirect restorations. 2. Location of the cavity, occlusal cavities should be restored with metallic or ceramic restorations to withstand occlusal loads. Mesial cavities in anterior teeth and premolas should be restored with aesthetic restoratives. Distal cavities of cuspids and bicuspids and molars can be restored with metallic restorations. Labial cavities and cervical cavities of anterior teeth should be restored with aesthetic restorative materials. Cervical cavities of posterior teeth may be restored with amalgam, resin composite, or glass ionomer restorations. 3. Accessibility to the cavity, wide mouth opening provides sufficient accessibility. However, Small mouth opening creates difficulty in cavity preparation and restoration. Anterior teeth, premolars and first molars are more accessible than second and third molars. 3. Factors related to the dentist, operator dentist should know full information about population needs. He should have sufficient information about all available restorative materials. He should have sufficient skill for manipulation and handling of restoratives. He should use the material within its indications. He should provide his patients with sufficient post-restorative instructions. Successful dentist should satisfy his patients.